Hello and welcome to cookwithpooja.com. Today we are going to prepare one of the most quintessential Indian street food, pav bhaji. Tangy, spicy, with the flavors of lots of vegetables cooked in butter. So let's have a look at the ingredients first. We need two tomatoes finely chopped, one big onion finely chopped, one fourth a cauliflower grated, one fourth a capsicum finely chopped, two potatoes boiled and mashed, two to three tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, two big teaspoons of pav bhaji masala, two teaspoons of lemon squeeze, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of amchur powder that is green mango powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. That's all. Let's start preparing it. Heat a wok, add about 2 teaspoons of oil and 1 tablespoon of butter and let the butter melt. Add chopped onion and saute them until translucent pink. After cooking the onions for 2 minutes, I am going to add half a teaspoon of red chilli powder and mix. After that, 1 tablespoon that is half the quantity of ginger garlic paste. And mix well. After cooking the onions for 2 minutes, now I am going to add capsicum. And mix well. After cooking the capsicum for a minute, I am going to add the grated cauliflower. And again, mix well. Also, if you like, you can add boiled peas. I like it, so I'm adding very little of it. After cooking the vegetables for two minutes, now I'm going to just side them a bit, a little bit. Add half a teaspoon of oil. To that I am going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And mix well so that the ginger and garlic raw flavor goes off. Kindly note that, that I have only added half the quantity of ginger garlic paste as of now. That is 1 tablespoon. Rest we will use it later. That's it and now give it a mix with the vegetables and cook together. Keep mashing it with the help of spatula side by side cooking them. Now I am going to add some spices. 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. 2 teaspoons of coriander powder one teaspoon of salt and give it a good mix now we will add tomatoes and mix well After cooking the tomatoes and mashing them side by side, I am going to add just half a teaspoon of coriander powder and again mix well. Mash like this using a spatula side by side. Our tomatoes look completely cooked now. I am going to add boiled and mashed potatoes. mix well. Now 
Now mix the potatoes well with the gravy. It will take about 2 minutes but keep mixing until the potatoes are completely blended and you are not able to see the potatoes at all. At this stage add about 1 cup of water and mix side by side. Now is the time to add some more spices. Half a teaspoon of amchur that is green mango powder and one teaspoon of pav bhaji masala. This is the half of the quantity. Best half we'll use later. And give it a good mix. Now we need to cook this for another two to three minutes. But now I'm going to leave this spatula and rather use a potato masher or a pav bhaji maker and keep mashing it side by side for about a minute or so until a smooth paste is there and we are not able to make out what all vegetables went inside. After mashing for about 2 to 3 minutes, I have received a very thick and smooth paste. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of food color. This is completely optional as it is only going to give you the color like you get it in restaurants but it doesn't impart any taste. So it's all up to your discretion. I like it with the restaurant like color so I'm just adding it and just give it a good mix. Mix well so that the color is evenly spread. So now we we'll close the flame. Our base for pav bhaji is ready. You might have noticed whenever we go out and eat pav bhaji, they will freshly make it or saute it with butter and last touches they'll give it and then only they'll serve. Exactly that we'll do it. So I'll just keep this base aside. Take a pan and heat some butter. Add some butter and let it melt. Again we will add some ginger garlic paste. About a teaspoon after the butter melts. And saute the ginger garlic paste well with the butter so that there is no raw flavor to it left. After cooking the ginger garlic paste, I am going to add spices now. Little bit of red chilli powder and pav bhaji masala, the left pav bhaji masala, about 1 teaspoon. Give it a good mix. If needed, you can add little butter more at this point as I think I will have to because it has to be very buttery. Yes. Wow, what flavors are coming up, my gosh. And now to this tarka, we are going to add our base of pav bhaji masala that we prepared and fry it with the butter and serve hot. Depends on the quantity, how much you want to serve at one time. That's it. Now I'm going to lastly add lemon squeeze. About two teaspoons because I like it tangier. Actually everyone likes it tangier when it comes to pav bhaji. So it's very important to add lemon squeeze. And now lastly sprinkle with some fresh coriander. And our bhaji is ready to be served. Now it's time to make some pavs. And turn off the flame. 
wow the aroma is awesome and the texture the color is so perfect i just can't wait myself to a little bit taste it mm. wow spicy tangy and dissolves in mouth like anything now let's prepare the pav actually pav bhaji is best served with pavs or uh, dinner rolls like this otherwise if not available even goes good with properly baked breads so to make that just make a horizontal slit in a pav or a roll and apply some butter apply some on both the sides and now a little bit on to the griddle or tawa your pav upon to the griddle hot griddle now just open your pav and apply some bhaji inside it just like we do it for sandwiches or something this will give amazing taste while eating that's it not too much little bit and chain the side and cook it from both the sides completely crispy buttery that's it That's it. Now we are going to plate our pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Tada! The pav bhaji is ready. Sprinkle some fresh coriander and onions. Wow! Awesome pav bhaji. I just can't wait to eat it. So I'll rush and have my pav bhaji. Till then you start preparing it. And for a complete note of ingredients and your procedure, have a look at the recipe at cookwithpooja.com. Till then this is Pooja signing off. Bye bye.